what they call in television as a spin-off. That is a new program that comes as a result of a success of another show is new to CBS and Channel 11. It's called Maud, and that's a spin-off from the very tremendously successful All in the Family. Well, one of the uh, principal performers is our guest that I'd like you to meet today. His name is Bill Mason. He plays a part of Walter Finley, and he is Maud's husband. You know, I think a lot of people have become very sophisticated about television and show business, Bill. And one of the things they like to know is how actors get jobs. Now, for instance, uh, you must have had your struggling days, and you're hoping to be proven by this series and so forth. Was it a difficult thing? Did you have to compete with a lot of actors to get the part? No. <laughs> Milt, right. go ahead. You're going to be tough, huh? I'm not going to be tough. I'll tell you what. Uh, Norman asked for me, when I say Norman, Norman Lear, right? Yes. Because he had seen me. Because I'm basically a stage actor. He had seen me in America Hurrah in 1966. He saw me in The Cannibals in 1968. He saw me in Miss Reardon Drinks a Little in 1971. I said, Norman, how about something on All in the Family? He says, don't worry about it. We'll give you a new series. So he wrote a series for Beatrice Arthur, Maud, and he, I got the part of uh, uh, Walter, her husband. But you know what I would really want to talk about is while you were introducing the program, you used the phrase about a series being new to CBS. Now, can you hear that? New to CBS. It sounded to me, to my ear, my sensitive ear, because I'm from, you know, like 1969, Oak Calcutta, new to CBS. Oh, new. To you couldn't do it that way. <laughs> no. You understand? But just that play on the words, the cacophony of the sound, the onomatopoeia, and everything else that it sounded like, it really blew my mind. And so when you asked me a real answer, all I could say was no. You didn't know this was an educational program, folks, did you? Now back moving right along with Bill Macy. I appreciate that. You may, uh, you're kind of modest. Actually, you don't get apart that easily. A very influential producer, Norman Lear, whom you refer to familiarly as Norman, <coughs> is the guiding light between all and the family. He brought it with his partner, uh, Bud Yorkin, and they sold a very difficult concept. That is, they, they brought the idea of making humor out of bigotry and made it the biggest, most popular success of the last well, couple Norman of years. Well, Norman didn't start that. Yeah, he got it from England. Well, William Shakespeare is the one who started it. You know that. Bill Shakespeare. I'm serious. I mean, it was even happened before him, if you go back to the Bible. But I only go back as far as 1600. William Shakespeare <laughs> wrote, well. <laughs> wrote King Lear. That's only one of his plays. He wrote 37 plays. I once did one of his plays, by the way. I did it on 2nd Avenue. It was, it was one of his plays called Hamlet, where he wrote it. They had to change the title. They called it Jaime. But listen, there was a fool in King Lear. And he could... The fool was able to tell the king the truth in a, in a fooling manner. And that's what you mean by bigotry and humor, you see. And it really, to me, is the, the, what can I say? You know, I said it, so why do I have to say it again? Isn't it a coincidence, though, that you were in a play, and I hadn't, and you'll forgive me, I haven't heard of any of those plays that you mentioned, that a big shot from TV, Mel. wait a minute, that a big shot from TV happened to be in the audience? What was he doing in a small theater, seeing Bill Macy, remembering him two years later, and then giving him a tremendous part? Because I'm going to answer that seriously now, right? This particular man, and I think we talked about it the other day, I think I'm a few months older, younger, I forget, but our birthdays are, you know, we look differently, too. <laughs> Anyway, he goes to the theater. You have a finish for this. <laughs> he goes to the theater. And I've been in the theater. Yes. Then he liked you. And he wrote a fan letter. I got three fan letters in my entire life. Two of them came from Norman. <laughs> Very good. The other from a total stranger. Were you doing poorly? Poorly? I never Big did poorly. poorly. I always made $50, $75 a week. Big stuff, right? Sure. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I never equated my life in terms of money. I always managed to pay my rent, whether I lived in a broom closet or lived in a room. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still doing the same thing, but now I got a swimming pool 
Look over your shoulder, you'll see the size of it. <laughs> you want to jump in? I want to jump over. <laughs> I want to kill myself at this moment. So do I. But not for real and not for money. But for love, I'll do anything. Kiss me. Is, <laughs> is Bill Macy your real name? No. You think I would act like this if my real name was Bill Macy? I'm under a pseudonym. <laughs> well, you're Steve McQueen. Is that your name? Uh, no, 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 that's naughty. That's naughty. You know I'm not Steve McQueen. I'm too tall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play a funny... Is, is uh, the part of Maude's husband funny? We better... I mean, it better be. It well, better be. might be the straight man. I am the straight man, and that's what I call funny. For instance, let me ask you a question. I'll play straight, right? <laughs> That's one of the best questions I've ever heard. Well, listen, you know, you have to do a little thinking. You just can't have diarrhea of the mouth all the time and just not. say anything that comes out of your mouth. You got a Kleenex? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You know why? Why do you like? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I forgot the whole point of this interview. You know what I like about you? You're not greedy about getting publicity for the show. You don't care. You just want to be a good guy. Right? What show? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. It's a hit. H-I-T. A double, a single, a triple home. It's a hit. You think there's enough oomph in the title, Maud? Is that enough? Well, it's better than M-U-D. We got two other letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, I want to tell you. Uh, Milk, well, uh, yes. tell me anything you like, uh, but it, give me our prize. It's been a, it's been a, a meaningful experience, and uh, <laughs> I hope we can go on with this relationship at a future time. Why not, right after the program? <laughs> <laughs> this is Bill Macy. You won't want to miss him in Maude. He's just great. He plays the part of Walter. I Finley. don't believe myself. <laughs> Say goodbye to the folks. Goodbye, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.